I've got these uh, these discs. As you can see, this these are Visual Basic discs. If the camera will focus, Visual Basic Professional disc one of nine through to nine. I have no idea if these will work anymore. Probably not because. Uh, these are ancient. These are my original discs from from the past, from long ago. So we're going to see if we can install them. Because if you joined us for some previous episodes, you'll notice that A, discs often don't work. And B, when they do work, programs don't work because we're missing quite a lot of components because this is quite a plain vanilla installation of Windows 3.11. So this is going to be a thrilling, thrilling stream that's going to involve installing a few programs on Windows 3.1. This setup, this disk has been already been used by M. Benton. Who's M. Benton? It's a, I love where we used to get our old software from. Who's M. Benton? I don't know anyone called M. Benton. It's good, it's good hard drive sounds. Can you hear that? Let me just switch to a different camera for you, a uh, different microphone. Can you hear that? This visual basic installation is very slow. Look at this. This is. I mean, we're at 7% disk one. It's going well. I have some faith because. These are verbatim discs, and they were always excellent quality. They are, it's not just the label either. They are proper verbatim discs. And they were always very reliable. Ah, oh, disc two. Come on. Come on. We are, what, 11% down. Come on. <sighs> this installation is quite slow yes the speed of floppies is detrimental got a lot of things off ben including disturbing memories of the past no what do you mean no no come on come on you can't do this to me it's all right it's okay we might be able to get through it oh no, that's just fucked entirely Oh, not even the backup disc works. Oh no. Oh no. It is a help file, you're right. I'm just concerned that the rest of the disc is going to have some issues as well. All right, we'll try and ignore it, but is, if it's affected other files, we could be in problems. Bloody hell. Inco incorrect number of bytes written to disk. Source file or destination disk may be corrupted. Ugh. Ugh. Sounds all kinds of messy. We'll ignore that one as well. 94%. It's so close. Taste the visual basic energy. <laughs> I'm so, so tired. Yes, we're in visual basic. Visual basic has booted. Ah, oh, good times. Look at this. We can get a button. Let's put a button here. Command one. Let's call it press this. And then we can I can have a we can have a label. We can have a, a an input box. Text one box. Hello. And then we can go into the I can't, I can't remember. I can't, it's been so long since programming in Visual Basic. It's bad. I made an entire um, computer system for a company in Visual Basic, and 10 years later, I can't even remember how to do a basic command. It's just gone. It's, uh, I can't, I can, no, no, we're not going down this rabbit hole. I'll get flashbacks to working in an office. Okay, we've got Visual Basic installed. Visual Basic is installed. That is all that's important at this time moment in time we also need to install i've got some uh got some cds here mainly because i want to install a program that will open jpegs flaps 
<laughs> it's a program called Flaps. Paint Shop Pro. Good stuff. November 1996 wins the day. Let's run the PCW menu. That seems like the easiest thing to do. Oh, let's install QuickTime. Yes! Apple QuickTime 2.3. Plenty can go wrong. Oh, I remember this movie player. We should be okay to watch movies on the CD because this is a DX4100. I'm having so much fun. Look at the bit depth. <laughs> oh, we're having such a nice time. Here at Being Your Labs, we at PCW try and emulate the best possible conditions for picture testing. That was the dream. Panasonic KXP1124, which I bought off my friend Michael. And I was like, oh, I can finally print that eye. And it was like, oh, the dream is to print that eye. If I can print that, I've made it in the world. I don't need to do anything else. And this dot matrix printer struggled like hell. Hex Row, thank you, to try and print that image. And it was shit. Absolutely shit. Because it was a crap dot matrix. Yeah. And the best thing about that printer is it had a quiet mode. And the quiet mode was... The same volume as normal mode, but twice as slow. So it made the same amount of noise, but for twice as long. Let's watch inter300.avi. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> Copyright strike. I'm going to have a Microsoft executive from 1997 knocking on my door. Anyway, let's get back to the task in hand, which was to install uh, PaintShop Pro. Oh, look at this. Oh, I remember this cover disc. I think this is the one where they oh, they brought out this new intro. Look at this. This is the multimedia age. The Room. Taste of VNU's new e-zine. Resources. Let's go to The Room and then we'll go to Resources. Welcome to The Room where you will get a taste of the goods on offer in our electronic magazine on the web. Well, I've got, I've got control over, over the light. This is so 90s. This is 90s multimedia at its finest. Click here to enter. Yes, I am over 21. Whoa, whoa, whoa sorry. <laughs> Isn't this a cover CD? I enjoy looking at filth on the internet, probably because I'm sexually unfulfilled, suffering from a severe case of arrested development, or I'm, I work with computers for a living. I wasn't even reading what was on the screen. I was just ad-libbing. Um, I'm just, let me just, I'm just going to see what's on here. Because this, I imagine this, I, this, yeah. No, oh, that is disgusting. That is, that is horrendous. Surf and Scurf, a layperson's guide to the Capitol's cyber cafe scene. In the first of a series of in-depth investigative reports, we sent the Web Witch to find out what attractions were available to social surfers in London's rapidly proliferating cyber cafes. What the sh... What? This is just like a, a lowdown of cyber cafes, but it's putting some sort of weird contextual spin on it? I'm going to install PaintShop Pro. Graphic but it's under essential utilities. And we've also got the visual basic runtimes. We went for an hour of installing visual basic but on the CD-ROM. We could have installed it in seconds. We could have... I could have closed up for the night. I could have gone home. I could be sipping tea at home. 
But no, we had an hour of shitty floppy disks for something that would take seconds here. PaintShop Pro is not freeware, but it will continue to run for as long as you want it. PaintShop Pro 3. Look at it, Quang. Look at it. I'm going to design all my YouTube thumbnails in PaintShop Pro 3 from now on. Okay, so what I want to do is we've got a number of JPEGs from previous disks, which we couldn't open. Here's a picture of Drew Barrymore, I think, from a floppy disk. Black it looks like it's been scanned as well. It looks like it's been scanned on a black and white scanner. Here's another image. Got this as well. Here's another image. It's amazing how many images you can fit onto a floppy disk. Oh, here you go, Octavius. There's one for you. Here's another picture of Gillian Anderson. This time in black and white, and it's made the entire Windows interface go black and white. This is this has caused some corruption to the Windows color palette. Hello, you want a more garish desktop? Well, I think we should actually change it up a little bit. Let's get some hot dog stand. I do like a bit of hot dog stand. All right, let's just see what else is on this CD before we abandon it entirely. A beginner's interactive exploration of desktop PCs and notebooks. Oh, look at this. A notebook computer is generally comparable with a desktop model, but only weighs a few pounds. That looks like it weighs about 50 kilograms. System unit. The system unit holds the major component. Let's look in. You can look inside. Oh, yes. Look at that. We can look at individual bits. Oh, it just highlights it and talks about it. I will go back to resources. Check if there's anything else we need to install. And I'm not clicking. Look at that AOL icon trying to entice me in. Just, just piss off me. Let me just install some stuff myself. Games. Bad Mojo. Let me play Bad Mojo. So I'm enjoying the amount of success we're getting with running applications today. It's not quite at the same level as thingies yet, but I think... I think this is a good experience for all of us. It's teaching us a life lesson. The lesson is, don't use retro technology because it's a relic of the past and you don't need to. I feel like I've just installed a virus. Well, this is exciting. What is going on here? The start of the end. I, I can't do anything now. It's just completely... If I turn the power off on this computer and this sound still plays, we're in deep trouble. I'm going to try and run that again, but without the multimedia menu on the CD already running. I think we might get better success. I'll be honest, Tommy Gun. I think it's for content. Welcome to the Bad Mojo interactive demo. Use the arrow keys to move the roach from screen to screen as you attempt to solve puzzles and overcome obstacles in a strange and dangerous world. Here are but a few of the hundreds of environments from the game. This is one simple puzzle. There is one simple puzzle and some unfriendly characters to stay away from. Now this just looks like The Office. Oh, there's a spider! Oh, shit! Well, I'm staying away from you. This is horrendous. I didn't go onto the sticky pad! Come on! Oh, these tank controls are really difficult. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk towards the spider. It's alright, it's alright, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll go this way. No shit! Oh, that's not nice, is it? Oh, that is horrible.
Okay. That didn't work out. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else here. Oh, Tango. This is nice. It's alright, isn't it? It's quite nice. Right, I think I'm going to call the stream... I'm going to bring it to a close, I think, because we've done a lot of exploring. We've been on great adventures together, and it's been fun. We got Visual Basic installed. We searched the CD drive, and we almost played a decent game, but we didn't. But hopefully we can play something decent in the future. Oh, God, look who's on the screen. Look who it is! He's rocked up, hasn't he? Of course he has. All right, people. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me. Um, I'll see you next week. Hopefully we can do this again next week. Try and make it a regular thing, at least once a week. Shut up, you. Right, see you later, folks. Take it easy.